Hey guys, I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. I'm just uh, doing a continuation on the last video that I that I shot of me uh, sandblasting the edges of these Fiat parts. And uh, on the jams, I only I only sandblast the edges that kind of the part that you're going to see once everything's put back together and painted, uh, where the door cards or uh, door panels show they they cover up i don't typically worry about it on uh, newer cars because they're just not uh, seen and it's not rusty enough to worry about um, i figure if it's lived for 30 years without any rust or anything showing uh, we're good and this car has not been in a, a salty environment it didn't have tons of rust on it um, the metal that i replaced was just out of caution to keep from having uh, rust show up later after we've spent all this time doing this uh, repaint on the car. So here's one of the doors. Um, you can see now after it's sandblasted, it's pretty clean. Got right up and around those hem flanges real well. So that'll take epoxy very nicely. You can see um, I went back with a dual action sander with some 180 grit and kind of uh, feathered out um, what was chipped and rough looking. I want to show you the uh, deck lid that I haven't uh, feathered yet so you can see how rough the edges are. So here you can see um, I sandblasted that hem flange area really well. Had a lot of peeling and stuff going on there. And I just kind of walked the blaster out away from that corner. So I'll be able to feather edge the paint and get it all cleaned up, sanded, so that I can get epoxy on it. It's only been uh, a day. I definitely don't want to let this sit more, more than 48 hours before I do my uh, priming operations on these parts.